Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today we're working on a 2012 F350. Uh, this has a 6.7 diesel in it. Uh, it's going to be a pretty, uh, I don't know, I guess you could say extensive repair. We're going to be doing new pads, new rotors, uh, new caliper on the rear. And um, this has the dually in it, so it's a little bit of extra work. You have to pull the axle out. Um, and uh, disconnect the axle extension from the rotor, so it's uh, a little bit of a job, uh, but we're going to walk through how to do it. Uh, it's, uh, let's get started. Uh, first thing we need to do is get that cap popped off there. Um, get this wheel cover cap popped off. Get something in there to try it out of there. Be a little tricky. Back on. Get a little stubby screwdriver or something in there. Work best. Get your fingers in there. It's kind of a tricky one to get out of there. There we go. Right. That out of the way. Uh, next, we need to get all these lug nuts off. These are all 21 millimeter. Uh, there's eight of them. And uh, get those off. Get get both the wheels off. Stuff. Okay. Okay. Get Off. So I did the last one. Uh, just kind of get in there with a pry bar. You can see where these two wheels meet. Stick a pry bar right in between them. Just tap. There we go. Got it loose. So, once you get the wheels off, this is what you got. We got uh, got the rotor here, caliper, copper bracket, uh, and then this is the, the axle shaft slides in here. We actually have to remove this and pull it out. Uh, been able to get the, the rotor and this extender off. 
So first thing we need to do since we're replacing the caliper on this is I'm going to go ahead and just take this whole assembly off. Um, it's going to be our first step. You can see here we got a 21 millimeter there and we got another one down here. We need to get those off. So first things first, I get my safety stand. this jacked up right here under uh, where the shock uh, the, the shock mount on the axle there uh, the axle is kind of at a tilt so it's tilting downhill because what will happen is if you have it straight or you have it tilting uphill um, all of the differential fluid will come out of this axle shaft once you once you pull this off here the differential fluid is going to pour out of here so if you have it at an angle uh, running downhill all that fluid is going to run to the other side which is what you want because you don't want you don't want to drop you know lose a bunch of differential fluid when you take this axle out so just a tip there so get a 21 break that loose those two bolts off. tougher to get to. one in there.
these have these caliper bracket bolts have Loctite on them from the factory, so we're gonna redo that Loctite when we do them. That kind of makes it a little difficult. Sorry, I'm gonna reposition you here in a minute. See what's going on. All right, I got that bottom bolt out. We're just working on the top here. The reason I'm pulling this all off is one assembly is because we're doing, we're replacing the caliper too. We replaced the caliper on the other side. We're doing this side. Uh, it's always recommended to do on the pairs. Uh, there's our 21s. You can see they have the Loctite on there. So we're going to make sure we reapply that. When we put these back on, what I'm going to do. See, I have a, a bucket with a jack stand. I'm gonna pull that caliper off and I'm just gonna set it on top of that jack stand. The bucket's for when we disconnect the brake hose to re, uh, replace the caliper so we don't drip brake fluid all over the concrete. It's just gonna catch the fluid. caliper off our next step is going to be get these bolts out of here these are 15 millimeter um, I'm going to use my impact to get them off get my 15 See if this impact's got enough to take them off, which I don't think it does because these are these have Loctite on them as well. But yeah, to, to crack them, crack them loose by hand. I don't know what happened to my 15 half inch 15 millimeter socket.
15. See, these have Loctite on them, so. A little tough to get out of there. So now the axle is just going to pull out of there. See, we still got some some differential fluid leaking out. There's no way around it. Uh, but hopefully it'll be minimized with the axle being tilted like that. So we're just going to pull this straight out of here. It's going to come out. Nice. There we go. That's it. Big axle. I'm gonna set this out of So now we got that out of the way. Next step is gonna be this. This is like a retaining, uh, like almost like a retaining clip that holds the bearing in place. There's a bearing back behind here. You can see that there's uh, threads on this inner shaft here. This just spins on. So they make a special tool um, you can put in here. It's got four little pins, sits on there, turn it out. Um, you can also use a screwdriver, which is what I'm about to do. Gonna get in there like this. Turn it. Turn it. Out of there. All right. Got that. Just gonna set it down there. Uh, so if you look in there, you see there's a bearing in there. We need to get that bearing out of there. It just sits in there. It's not held in by anything. That retaining clip's out of the way. So what we'll do is just pull this rotor out just a little bit, just enough to be able to get, get our hand on that bearing. Push it back in. Should be able to get a grip on it. Maybe, maybe not. Pull it out a little bit more. There we go. Push it back in. Yeah, that's the bearing. So I'm just gonna set that down. Uh, I got that out of the way, so that's pretty much it. Now we're just gonna pull this whole assembly off there. Um, it's all gonna come off. I'm gonna take it over here. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I take one of these wheels and I'm gonna set it over in the grass. Right side up like that. What I'm gonna do, you'll see in a minute, I'm gonna pull this rotor off here and I'm gonna set it down. Just like that. I'm gonna show you why I did that. So if you look in here, the rotor is not the same. This is this little extension here we need to get off here. So if you look in there, there's gonna be it's gonna be eight, what six, eight, eight bolts here. These are gonna be an E51. This
See? It's an E51. Or no, it's an E20. Sorry. E20. So I set it on here so it can get some leverage. I'll show you in a minute. I want to be able to get some leverage so I can turn those off there. I don't have an impact, so I'm going to do it by hand. I'll show you. Take my breaker bar with the E20, and it's gonna break these loose by hand. There we go. One. These things are on there. They also have Loctite. Two. Got those loose. About the impact. Let's get them out. Got all those out. Just gonna pull off like that. Grab our new rotor. got a new rotor on you can see you got the bolt holes lined up you spin it around on there just line them up like that here's all our bolts uh, you can see they've got Loctite on them I'm gonna reapply Loctite on onto them now when I reinstall them
Go ahead and put these back in, get them started. them all nice and tight so now I'll go ahead and take it back over here got it all reinstalled we're just gonna slide it right back onto the axle Go ahead and get our bearing in there. It's in there. Get this started back in. This only goes in one way. It's got a little notch right here. Let's make sure that notch is lined up. Let's go ahead and start turning it back on.
start cockeyed. start straight so I don't want to cross over this. Threads look fine. There it goes. back on there. should be nice and snug so this there shouldn't be any play when you pull on this so this is still got a couple more turns to go but in there tight uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the axle shaft and slide the axle shaft back in you'll see on the end of this axle shaft there's a going to seal inside of here. Just make sure that's intact. Slide in like that. Just move your rotor around to get it lined up. 
get your bolt started. Those nice and tight. So our next step is going to be to get our caliper on. Get our new caliper. New caliper is right here. I'm just going to bolt this whole assembly back up where we took those 21 millimeters out of. With caliper bolt. This is all just going to bolt right back up. Tighten these 21 millimeters back up. So, we got our whole caliper assemblies all on there. So now what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to loosen up this bottom, this bottom caliper bolt, which is a 15. Side's a 15, this side's a 17.
Flip this one up like that. I'll move my bucket too. pads in there. These little clips that these come with are a little tricky. Uh, go. Like this, they snap in. And they just go in there. Slide in. Make sure when you take this apart that you look how it goes back together. Take a picture. Do whatever you need to do. Grease here. I'm gonna apply it on the pad where it contacts. Sorry guys, this probably isn't my best video. This thing is quite a bit of work to be honest with you. Everything's bigger, heavier, and uh, they're just not the easiest to maneuver. So now we're just gonna fold our caliper back down like that. It's gonna fall right back into place. I'll go ahead and put our bolt back in the bottom. So 15 millimeter, I do believe. Nope. So actually it's a 14. This old banjo bolt out. Let's get rid of it. Take our new one off. See, we got plenty of fluid coming out of there, which is good. And tip the brake hose is not. It's not bad. A lot of times on these Fords, these brake brake hoses corrode from the inside and collapse in on themselves. But this one looks good. It's got a good amount of fluid dripping out of there. 
So our banjo bolt, we're gonna have a washer on the outside, washer on the inside. Get it started. Get it tight. Come back. We're gonna go ahead and just gravity bleed this. So, you just need to take this cap off. All we need to do is loosen this bleeder screw and just let it sit for a minute. And gravity should do its thing. It's gonna pull all that fluid down into the chamber of this caliper. It's gonna push the air out through the top here. So essentially gravity is just gonna do what it does and it's gonna bleed this for us. Uh, especially since there was plenty of fluid coming out of there, we shouldn't have any problem. So uh, I'm gonna give that minute a minute to bleed and then I'll be back. See, we got plenty of fluid running out. Fluid's good. That's up. Hi, puppies. Good. Put that back on. And she's good. It's bled out. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put this wheel on. I got still gotta do the front. Uh, and then once I get everything together, I'm gonna go ahead and pump the brakes real good with the truck running. Um, make sure that it's got a nice solid pedal before putting it in gear and take it for a test drive and she should be good. So this is it. I hope it helps. It's a long video. This is not an easy job. Uh, good luck, have fun.